so happy Friday. <laughs> just for the record, I, I just thought it would be good to clarify. I don't want to cancel lecture because there's no fire alarm in Union House. We're recording the lecture. We missed a lecture due to the snow day. The snow, the snow day. We kind of missed two testable lectures last week, and we're missing two more lectures in the last week due to the May Day holiday and the, uh, the project fair. So, to cancel this class, I don't know if I could cover all of the test material if I were to, to, to cancel this. I might be able to, but I'm not sure. So, I just want to make sure that we get some cover the test material. And I have some questions <clears throat> about assignment three here, if anybody's curious. It says, hi Bob, I just wanted to clarify the situation with assignment three. If I'm correct, it's an optional coursework that you can complete if you are not happy with either assignment one or two marks. That is correct. It is optional. If that's true, I just want to clarify how the weighting works out because the weighting indicated on the PDFs for courseworks 1, 2, and 3 add up to 50% and without coursework 3 add up to 35%. Are the weightings for courseworks 1 and 2 changed if coursework 3 is not completed? The answer is also yes. If you want to know the exact weightings, you can go to the Amazing DataViz webpage and there are the weightings of assignments here. So with assignment three, if you did it, you have 15%, 20%, and 15%, which is sort of the original advertised weightings. If you don't do assignment three, then that 15% just gets redistributed to A1 and A2, so it's 22.5% and 27.5%. Hey guys. So yeah, that's the idea. The seven and a half percent just gets added to A1 and A2. In other words, you can average A1 and A2 together, and that average doesn't change. It doesn't change. So you have 50% of that average. Does that make sense, hopefully? In addition, the deadline for coursework three is quite soon. By the time I know what mark I have achieved in coursework two, I won't have much time to work on it. This is another reason that I wanted to clarify how the weighting of the coursework is worked out. So not a question, but there's an implicit question there, which I get every year, which is, will I know my, my score for coursework two before the deadline of coursework three? And the answer is no. You will not know. By me. I'm going to say by me. I do claim, though, that you can assess your own coursework too. You have the assessment sheet. You could really just assess your own coursework too and have a very good estimate of what your score will be, I think. You know, it will, it will be uncertain, but if you're, you'll, you'll have a very good idea, I think. That would be a fun exercise to, to, to have everybody assess their own coursework and see what score they would give and compare it to the score I would give. But, uh, yeah, that would be fun. And in, in some classes, maybe you guys have even seen this, you just swap, you can like swap your coursework or your quiz with somebody in the class and you assess each other's coursework. So I don't know if anybody's ever done that, but I've been in classes that do that. Probably you've all done it with pub quizzes, <laughs> where you assess other people's pub, pub quiz answers. Any other questions? Yeah. 
if if you submit a sign of three, it will be assessed, and you'll get a score that you cannot undo. So yeah, you you cannot get assessed for A three and then decide whether or not to include it. Yeah, that's, that's a, a very common question. Another very common question is, can I get a research paper for assignment three and then decide whether or not I'd like to do assignment three? And the answer to that is yes. You can get a research paper for assignment three and then decide. Yeah. So the research papers are not all the same. Some are more difficult to read than others. So, yeah. I try to choose the research papers for most mathematics. <laughs> no, that's not true. But it would be funny if it was true. Any other questions about assignments one, two, or three? Good.